Hey YouTube, how you doing? Today I got something special for you. Something you can go and download on my Google. <sighs> wow, well, I'll just leave a link in the description so you can down and download this. Something a little low poly. Took me about five hours to make. Especially this bitch. I didn't put any wires in there just yet. Well, I'm not gonna put any wires in there because it's gonna take a shitload of time and to get the curves right is gonna be a bitch. But you got a GP with some fans. You got a nice cooling system. On the other side, let's just hide the walls. Got a nice power supply. Some hard drives. Shit of RAM. <laughs> There's a nice gaming PCA. It took me a while to make this. No, it's not perfect, but it's there. It's there, it's there. I'm not going for perfect, just to have it there. And then, just to top it off, I made a little... Yeah. This is it. Then we got the gaming mouse. Wireless, of course. With your DPI buttons and your scroll wheel. As you can see, we got a little shine on that. Shine, baby, shine. And then just a mat. I think the reason. Okay, you're not seeing any overlays because I turned it off. I don't know why this is moving so slow. Okay, then we got the gaming chair. <coughs> Again, not perfect, but it's there. We got a little soda can. Let's say you're drinking a monster while you're playing. And I know some people, they like the wireless shit, so anyway. I just left that as wireless. And on this side, I wouldn't really bother with this just yet. This is just some extra props I made. Yeah, something I, I messed around with, you can use for your games. I will be making some extra props for you guys. But I think... This is the tip of the iceberg. And if you type into edit mode with this guy, you will see he's got a mirror modifier. But, if you select one of these, you can actually open it up. I didn't actually, you know, open the drawers, you know, give them something to work with. You know, you can't put anything in there just yet, but I'm gonna fix that in... Yeah, well, when I stop this video. I'm gonna keep working on this, and when I'm done with that, I mean, that's pretty easy to do. I mean, seriously. I mean, I'm gonna upload this for you guys anyway, so I might as well just fix it just now. So, I can just press I to insert. Make sure we got everything. No, too far. I to insert. And just eat it, shoot it down. I got working drawers.
and obviously you're gonna have to be in selection you know separate by selection or you can just do loose parts if I'm not mistaken you can just do this control L and P by loose parts then they will all be separate something you guys can actually do then you can always just do W and set origin to geometry now we'll see the drawers on the other side disappear because we separated these and they're not no longer that side but I can apply the modifier because this has a mirror modifier anyway so I can just apply this and just duplicate these all drawers should be now you've got working drawers so maybe you may maybe you want to make like a horror style game where you actually put some stuff in the drawers and you want the player to actually look inside the drawers Why? It's a complete mirror. Okay, good enough, good enough, good enough. So now you got drawers you can open up. <coughs> now you can open up every one of these drawers. This whole blend file will be available in the next, well, it's now the 7th. So you might get it on the 8th of the 5th month 2023 and it's going to be gaming setup and props and I'm going to keep working on this. Unfortunately I'm, <laughs> I lost everything because I got hacked, I really got hacked. my PC got hacked, they blasted by, <laughs> I mean they blasted through 5 firewalls and my antivirus and I can show you this I actually want to show you this this is my desktop now this is my hard drives I had to fucking wipe everything so now my windows is running on the solid state but everything is wiped this is some of the st stuff I could have well I could save but like dishonored let me show you what happened so there's a readme they gave me, I think it's not dishonored. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Yeah, there was something that actually I wanted to show you, but now you can see some of the games I have here like God of War. It's set to a SABA file now and that means it's encrypted now. There were some games. Yeah, it was right here. Yeah. I think Subnautica got fucked around. Look at this, look at this. Look. This is what I want to show you. I don't know how the fuck he did it. Look at this. This is not Windows. This is not Windows. There you go. I opened it and threat protection just popped up. So I'm gonna delete this whole file anyway. But your computer was infected with ransomware virus. Your files have been encrypted. The price to the trick <laughs> 400 fucking dollars just to do it. If you don't pay within 48 hours, the price will be one thousand dollars. Motherfucker. So I am going to send the file to fucking Microsoft <laughs> why 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 what did this what did this guy think uh, is this a what, what music is this what is this I hope this is not copyright but anyway 
I'm gonna send that straight to fucking Microsoft so they can see what the hell this is all about. You can see, payment via Bitcoin. You see, Bitcoin. This is ransomware. This is a fucking hacker. You get something like this happen to you, report it immediately. The dumbass actually gave his fucking email address. Good lord. I swear I'm gonna back at this motherfucker and send him one of the worst viruses I can get my hands on. Maybe something they used to take nukes out of the sky or something. <laughs> but, alright, so. Now I can just take action. Current fix. Alright, so it already deleted the fucking thing. Well, you can see. Most of my stuff just got fucked up. So, shift delete. That's gone. My blender got fucked up. I had to redo my blender. I had to get my Steam account back. I had to get my music back. I had to get basically everything is here. I had to get back, you know, drivers and everything. I had to get back. So, you get something like that happening to you, you will see. Your PC will start slowing down like that. And then it will just go to a blue screen error. You open it up again, it just fucks up your PC. Your Windows will be gone. And you will. I have to reload my Windows like four times. Then the third time he hacked me again. And then I decided to get rid of the. Windows installations on the other hard drives, so I just wiped these hard drives. This one was already wiped. So you get something like that, just be sure to report that to Microsoft. You send that file straight to Microsoft. Otherwise you're gonna be fucked. But this is gonna be ready to download for you guys whenever you want it. Whenever you go to my Google Drive. Link will be in the description. This is for you guys. Some assets. I will be making more assets like weapons and stuff like that. Remember the thing I was working on was actually on my... Good lord it was on my Google Drive. <laughs> so I can actually just go and get that back and I don't have to worry about it. So I can actually keep going on with that t tutorial series. The rest of the shit I unfortunately I lost. It's not my fault not my fault I mean how the fuck did it get past five for firewalls five firewalls not two five before this I actually had a vast um, uh, yeah the windows well I think the windows um, uh, defender is actually better than a 360 yeah, 360, uh, after that it was the... I know I had like three antiviruses running at the same time, and my PC was still running smooth until that fucker just blasted through those fucking firewalls. <laughs> so, I had to make something for you guys, so there you go, this is for you, this is for you, everything here is for you. You can actually put your own wires here, it's pretty easy if you want to put a wire there, you just shift A. And just do a curve. <clears throat> and curve, 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 curve. I think you can do it with grease pencil as well, but I don't think I've had curves. Oh, there it is. So you can use like a distance curve, point curve. So you can actually start with the points and just extrude from this.
Maybe something like that. Maybe. Why the fuck cannot move it upwards? Okay, I think my overlay is still off. Okay, but anyway, you can use a curve to make that and just put some... Like, let's say this is the curve you want to use right now, so you can just shift a mesh, and I would recommend you use a cube. Then you just do tab is to scale it, just until it's nice and small. And then you can just put a modifier array and another modifier curve. Mm, curve. I'm so tired, it's already past 12, so just bear with me, just bear with me. Okay, so the next modifier will be a curve. There we go. Then you just select the curve you just made. And I can see nothing happens until I take this and I move it down. For some reason it doesn't work. The curve. Okay, it doesn't always work for some reason. This is so weird. So apparently it cannot use this curve. There we go, now it's using the curve. Then you can just do this, S, X, S, X. And then you add the array modifier. Then instead of that, you can just make sure it's fit length, no, fit curve. Oh no no no, this is supposed to be a fixed count. And you just have to line this up.
Well, that's so satisfying. <laughs> well, then you can make like wires like that. So I'm gonna leave this as it is right there for you guys to actually check out so you can actually play with this. I don't know if you can hear me properly, but I hope you can. I mean, seriously, my voice. Oh god. I didn't even realize it's so loud. I've had my headphones actually turned down a little bit. But I actually got this for you guys. So, yeah. Go check it out on my Google Drive. It's all for you. You can use it for whatever the fuck you want. Just give me some credits. I mean, seriously. I actually... This took me... Almost two hours. <coughs> two hours just to get these keys. Keys. This is a texture. A, a bloody texture. I had to render it out and just fix some of the stuff that was messed up. You can see this. some of the stuff that's not lining up. But it's not really noticeable, but it's noticeable. But I got every bloody key you can think of. Scroll lock. Print screen, pause break, insert, home, page up, delete, end, page down, arrow keys, shift, enter, shift again, caps lock, tab, parenthesis, exclamation, at, hashtag, dollar sign, percentage, whatever you call that, whatever you call that, star, I got literally everything! I didn't miss anything. Except for this, I messed up a little bit, but... No, it's actually scroll lock. I know what, what happened there, as I... I can actually just... No, I can't really render it, because I deleted the stuff, but... Yeah, so... <coughs> At least you know this is my work. <laughs> so I find this anywhere else without my credits. I'm gonna not make any more stuff for you to download. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, this is for you guys. These are just some. I thought maybe. You know, get get a little bit of a mouse pad and uh, well, gaming mouse pad, <laughs> and I just downloaded a few gaming stuff so you can actually have something to look at. If you look closely at this, you will see it's got a little bit of a reflection, supposed to be. You can't really see the reflections. But it does have a real reflection like a real screen will have. You can actually look at this. Look at this. I want to show you something with this. Somebody told me don't use too many materials on one object. I've got one material. One fucking material. The hell with you. I'm using a color palette. <laughs> So I can just do this, control L, and you will see. Everything here is just on that color palette. So it's just a simple color. If you look closely, I actually have some colors on some of this stuff, but you won't see it because I've got, got the RGB lights. But okay, so this is for you guys. Go ahead and download it. Show me what you did with it. I would really love to see. And also leave a comment down below. What would you like me to make? What would you like me to model? What would you like me to do? Like weapons? Would you like, um, would you like, you know, old style weapons, swords, guns, stuff like this, headphones, mouses screens 
laptops, whatever you want, I'll see what I, I'll do my best. The keyboard, I actually based on my keyboard. <laughs> I just left out a few buttons. Right there. There's supposed to be buttons there, but there's no buttons. You know, the first one is for the internet, the other one is for search. Then I've got some star button, then it's for mail. Then it's exactly the same as... I don't know why, but it's exactly the same as this. Then I've got the play pause. I have the volume up and down. I've got the volume pause. So, that's it. That's it. Go ahead and download this, guys. This is for you. This is for you. The next thing I will be trying to do is actually putting some weapons in Slayer's hands. Yes, I called him Slayer. That's the name I gave him. You can call him whatever the fuck you want, but I called him Slayer. Yeah, his name is Slayer. <laughs> But anyway, so you can go ahead and download this and, you know, play with textures and whatever. You know, it's easy to make like wood textures. Maybe I can do that for you guys. So if you get something like this, you're going to do unwrap and instead of reset, just do a smart UV projection. So you get something like this going on. Go to your shader editor. Control T and instead of image texture I'm gonna do shift S texture and let's try a musgrave no it's the I think the musgrave will work so now the color will change so you're gonna need a shader and converter color ramp. Then you can change the color of the wood. So I'll put this up for download for you guys, don't worry. So you can actually play with the wood as well. But I think the mousecraft texture control well shift is I think the texture should be a gradient environment mousecraft noise point in this car texture Vornoy. I think the wave texture actually works best for this. Yeah wave. Then you can do saw and you can bring the scale up. Bring the distortion up a little bit if you wanted to. Bring the detail up if you wanted to. Phase it a little bit. And then you can just play with the scale. Here you got like a weird wooden texture thing. But as you can see, it's not really ideal. Diagonal, maybe. But you can do like weird textures with this, so...
If you don't want this as a ring, you can just use bands. And it's gonna go all the way across. But right now, it's distorted. And it's it so. So go ahead and play with this guys, now I gave you some textures to play with, like I said this is not perfect, this is not perfect, but you can still use it, it's still usable, you can play with the textures and whatever, you can make your own textures, you know download some wood textures if you wanted to, but yeah. So thanks for watching guys, if you liked the video give it a like, if you didn't like it just like it and I'm serious about that. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you always be in the loop for when the next video comes out. I might go live in a few days so be aware of that. Um, let's say on, this, on the 8th I might go live with a game or so. So thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.